Hey, what's going on, everybody? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Grand Admiral Thrawn. So this is the new archive release on the new 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm card back that they've done. So glad that they did this because I totally missed Thrawn the first time around. But through the plastic, you can see the figure and his little blaster pistol. I think that's an RK-3. I think it's what a lot of the officers carry. You got a nice picture of Thrawn there at the bottom. And on the back, you get the same picture. You get a bio in several different languages. And I think it's really nice that they included the Lucasfilm timeline there. It's kind of cool. And you get some stuff that no one reads there. And on the bottom, you get the barcode and more stuff that no one reads. I'm going to get Thrawn open, and let's take a look at him. Okay, so I got Grand Admiral Thrawn out of his box. And let's just take a look at him from head to toe. Now, of course, this is a repaint of the original figure. So no new articulation, I don't believe. Just updated paint. But the face looks good. Now, this right eye may be a tad lower than the left eye, yeah, but the raised eyebrow kind of makes up for it. Kind of, I don't know. It's not terrible. Yeah, everything looks really good on the face. I think the hair sculpt looks really good. Not sure what that is right there. Maybe a little imperfection or something. I don't know. You know, with the paint on the outfit, the rank markings, the code cylinders here, this up here, the shoulders, everything is very cleanly applied on this. You know, the outfit's just white, but it works. I mean, that's what he had on in Rebels. The belt looks really nice. The buckle has a nice kind of a, I don't know, steel-looking texture to it. The holster, it's got a nice leather look to it, but it's it's just a basic holster. The pants are nice and wrinkled. They look great. That's what the back of him looks like. Maybe a little bit of a paint, you know, whoopsie right there, but it's not terrible. And the boots are just nice, shiny black boots. Have a nice little strap right there. Looks really good. Little buckle. Some nice wrinkles in the boots. Wow, everything looks really good on him. I'm pleased. And uh, being such a fan of Rebels, I am so happy to finally have this one. So let's just run through articulation on Grand Admiral Thrawn. So the head can turn... Boy, it's tight. The head can turn side to side, but that is super stiff. He can't look down. And he can't really look up either. And not much in the way of tilt. Yeah, the head's pretty much fixed with the exception of some side to side. That's unfortunate. The arms go up to there and they can rotate around. He has a single jointed elbow, but he gets past 90. He's got a swivel at the elbow. He has a swivel at the wrist. Now both wrists are hinged side to side. There's the right and there's the left. He's got a swivel at the waist. He's got just a smidge of side-to-side -side tilt at the waist. He can crunch, mm, can't really crunch forward too much. And he can go back just a little bit. The legs get out that far. All this down here is a soft material and the holster also kind of moves with it. So the legs can get up that far. They can go back about that much. He has a swivel at the thigh. He has double jointed knees that get up to there. Feet can go down that far. They can't really go up too much and they can swivel at the ankle. And as far as accessories, he comes with a small blaster pistol. This is the RK-3. Some sculpted detail. No paint, but it looks really good. It's a good-looking pistol. And both sides look pretty much the same. Yeah, that's what the other side looks like. So let's see what he looks like holding this. So the right hand has the trigger finger. So we'll drop that in there. And, well, that goes in beautifully. The, the trigger finger goes right through the trigger guard. And he holds that very well. It's not going to fall out, and he looks really good holding that. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, not that we got to see Thrawn hold a blaster too much, but, well, he does look good holding it. And as far as holstering it, it just goes right in there like that. It goes in very easily, and it's, yeah, it's pretty secure. You know, but as far as posing, I think I'm just going to have him with his arms behind his back, because that's usually how he is most of the time. Boy, that looks good. But yeah, that's about all I can say about Thrawn. I mean, he's a he's kind of a basic figure. He's a, he's a blue guy with red eyes and a white outfit. But and everything looks so good on him. The face, I think they did a really nice job with the you know with the updated face. The eyes, I think, look really good. The raised eyebrows, a nice touch. All of this in here, just oh, it's so well done. Everything looks great. Love it. So if you like stuff like this. Please hit like and subscribe and hit that little notification bell. I would certainly appreciate it. And please comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this archive release of Grand Admiral Thrawn. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll just see you guys next time.